Environment. The word environment means surroundings. It includes all the living and non-living things around us. It stands for the physical and biological conditions in our surroundings, which influence growth and development. Man feels the influence of the environment everywhere around him. His food, clothing, shelter, even his ideas and beliefs are much the results of environment. It is a combination of natural and man-made phenomena. Environment is different in different places. For example, environment in a classroom is different from that at home. Environment of a village is different from that of a city. Environment in Antarctica is different from that of the Sahara Desert. Components of Environment Broadly, environment has two components or two categories. Natural Environment Human Environment Natural Environment may again be classified into two categories. Biotic Environment It refers to the world of living organisms, example plants and animals. Abiotic Environment It refers to non-living things, that is land, water, minerals, etc. Natural Environment Land, water, air, plants and animals are the elements of natural environment. It provides us the base for our existence. Land to live on, air to breathe, water to drink and food to eat. Lithosphere The domain of land is called the lithosphere. It is the outermost solid surface of the earth. It is made up of rocks and minerals. It is also called the crust. It contains various landforms like mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys, etc. Landforms are found over the continents as well as on the ocean floor. The crust is covered by a thin layer of soil, which is an important medium for life. Importance Every component or domain of the earth is important in its own way. Lithosphere is important because it provides us forests and grasslands for grazing, land for agriculture, land for human settlements, sources of mineral wealth, Hydrosphere. The domain of water is referred to as hydrosphere. It refers to the presence of water in all its forms, oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, ponds, etc. It is essential for all forms of life, for their survival on the Earth's surface. Water is also found in atmosphere in the form of water vapor, which helps to bring rain. It is essential for the survival of all living organisms. It is important to humans in many ways. It is necessary to prevent water from getting polluted and wasted. We should conserve it. Atmosphere The domain of air is called atmosphere. It is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth like an envelope. It is held to the earth by gravitational force. It is densest at the sea level and becomes thin rapidly upwards. It protects us from the harmful rays and moderates the temperature of the earth. It consists of a number of gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and also includes dust and water vapour. The changes in the atmosphere produce changes in the weather and climate. Importance The importance is useful to humans in many ways. The atmosphere acts like a blanket and keeps the earth warm by trapping the heat that radiates from the earth. It provides us oxygen, which is necessary for us to survive. We inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. It protects us from the harmful rays and the burning heat of the sun. It also serves Biosphere it is a narrow zone of the earth where land, water and air interact with each other to support life. It includes all the living components of environment like
ecosystem all plants environment and human beings environment affects the life of people to a great deal and it largely determines their lifestyle on the other hand man too determines environment and has a great capacity to modify it he can clear the forests change the courses of rivers and cut the mountain sides to make terraces for farming man is superior to most other members of the environment and he has the maximum potential to change environment lately man has been misusing his capability and has been disturbing the natural environment causing ecological imbalance on a large scale environmental pollution man has changed environment to a great extent through modern technologies for his own use and benefit he used resources recklessly which in turn caused great imbalances in nature he increased the process of urbanization and industrialization which caused deforestation to a large extent due to this severe environmental pollution problems have emerged for example due to uneven distribution of resources gap between the rich and poor has increased due to reckless use of mineral fuels like coal and petroleum the level of co2 has increased in the atmosphere which causes the problems of greenhouse effect global warming frequently occurring cyclones floods and landslides these are nature's way of warning man to mend his ways and learn to save and nurture his environment if he wants to continue his existence on earth